Hi guys, today we are going to learn about the nervous system. What is nervous system? It is actually the control center of your body. It interprets the things that your body senses and also sends information to the muscles and glands, telling them what to do. Nervous system can be divided into two parts. Central nervous system and also peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system includes the brain and also the spinal cord. Human brain weighs about 3 pounds. It has many folds and grooves. And this is the spinal cord. It is a long bundle of nerve tissue, extends from the lower part of the brain down through the spine. So what is the main function of central nervous system? It is the control center of the whole nervous system. And the focus of central nervous system is on coordinating the incoming and also outgoing neural impulses. The keyword here is coordinate. Peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that branch out from the central nervous system. Under peripheral nervous system, it can be divided by a few ways. First, cranial nerve and also spinal nerves. Cranial nerves are nerves that arise from the brain, as what I circle here. Spinal nerves are those arise from spinal cord. So cranial nerve arise from the brain. Spinal arise from spinal cord. We can also divide peripheral nervous system into sensory and motor. Another word for sensory is afferent, A, afferent. For the motor, it will be efferent, E, ferrin. Sensory neuron will carry the electrical impulses from sensory organ to central nervous system. For example, it fits what you see from the eyes to the brain. Motor neuron carry the impulses from the central nervous system to the muscles or gland. They are known as effectors. We can also divide the nervous system into somatic and autonomic. Somatic nervous system regulates the movement of your skeletal muscles. while the autonomic nervous system controls a system that you don't have to think about, which we call it as involuntary processes, such as your heart rate, digestion, and perspiration. It means sweating. So now, let's have a quick recap. Nervous system is divided into central and peripheral. Central includes your brain and also spinal cord. And under the peripheral nervous system, there are a few ways of categorizing it. So now, let's look at how central and peripheral nervous system work together. First, it started off with a sensory organ that contains sensory receptor. Receptors are the cells that sense stimuli. Then, the information about these stimuli is sent as 
electrical impulses. From the receptor cells through the peripheral nerve, specifically sensory nerve, to the central nervous system. So, this is our central nervous system, which consists of the brain and spinal cord. The central nervous system process the electrical impulses and coordinates the response. So the keyword here is to coordinate the response. Then the information about the response passes as electrical impulses along the motor nerve to the effect which are often muscles or glands. The effector then produces the response to the stimulus. So now, let me give you another example. If you accidentally touch a hot stove, the sensory receptors in the skin will catch the stimuli, telling you that, hey, this stove is hot. Then, the nerve will shoot a message of pain to your spinal cord and brain in the form of electrical impulse. The brain will then process the message and formulate a response. Then, send a message back, telling the muscles in your hand to pull away. So, this part is known as central nervous system. This is the part where the information is processed and interpreted. And this part is known as peripheral nervous system, which includes your sensory neuron and also motor neuron. So remember, sensory neuron is from your sensory organ to the central nervous system. Motor neuron is from the central nervous system to the effectors. Okay, that's all for today's video. I'll be talking more about the motor neuron and sensory neuron in the next video.